B-52 Stratofortress. Origin, USA. Cost, $70 million. Weight, 250 tons. Length, 159 feet. The B-52 was designed to drop over 20 tons of nuclear warheads onto any of America's Cold War enemies. B-52 bombers do what they say on the tin. B stands for bomber, 52 is the year it first flew operationally. Since then, it has spearheaded attacks in Vietnam, Yugoslavia, and the Middle East. unleashed over 3 million tons of munitions. They can drop huge bomb loads, conventional or otherwise, and other airplanes just can't do it. Today's B-52s can haul up to 35 tons of bombs with the firepower of 200 Hiroshima nukes. But to carry that much weight that far, it needs to be big. Astonishingly big. The B-52 is one of those aircraft that, when you see it, uh, you just don't really believe what you're looking at because it's so huge. The B-52's fuselage is just shy of 160 feet long. This is sandwiched by 4,000 square foot wings so heavy they need supporting wheels. These push the loaded takeoff weight up to 250 tons. To get this huge tonnage airborne, the B-52 relies on a staggering eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 turbojets, each producing 17,000 pounds of thrust. That's like having two F-15s strapped to each wing. The fact that it's got eight engines, uh, not many aircraft in the world were ever designed or built that way. So uh, every one of them is uh, about 16,000 to 17,000 pounds of thrust. We've got excess of about 140,000 pounds of thrust if we needed it. As it powers to the target, the B-52 flies high and it flies fast. 50,000 feet at just under Mach 1, burning fuel at over 3,300 gallons per hour. The five-man crew consists of two pilots, an electronic warfare officer, and the navigators who handle the weapons.